Okay. So I'm happy to be here with you and um, see you all know we're here for the Web3 coding section. And um, even if you're a beginner, you don't need to worry, okay? We're gonna, I mean, solidity is not very hard. And um, it, it it has a little thing, um, like it's like an interplay between JavaScript, CS, and C++ and um, so you don't need to worry. And we're gonna start everything, so to say, from scratch. So I wanna know those that are with me. If you're with me, I want you to drop a one, one, one on the chat box. Drop a one, one, one. Everybody, please, I wanna know those that are with me. I'm doing it first, one, one, one. Very good. Nice, nice. Only four persons. Let it burn, let it burn. Okay, that's good. Shoes, you're all with me. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, 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 Ben, I, I had mm. Okay. So Ben, um, I start now. So you can see we are all here. So let's go straight to what we came here for. So this is organized by off-chain. So mostly we're gonna be using the zombie, crypto zombie to learn how to do these things. And from, from there, gosh. Sorry, my screen is hanging once. Okay, so off chain like we know, so you can add us up on WhatsApp, Telegram, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, this is not gonna make you a perfect person, you know? I mean, a perfect software engineer, just a disclaimer. And you may need a little bit of JavaScript and, and all that, but you don't really need to worry. Um, some of the sections we'll be taking, we'll be having some um, theory classes too you know, and some other practical classes. We're gonna um, have some other sections that is not on Tuesday, you know, later, later on, maybe from next week or next two weeks. So this is a lesson we'll be taking and um, it's called Crypto Zombies. So I, I believe by the time we start um, the first lesson, I believe we're gonna finish the first lesson today. So if we finish the first lesson, you should get started. You may, you know, on your own, you know, do some assignment and, try to learn on your own. But we'll always be here for you. you know, we'll be taking it lesson by lesson. So, so my name is um, M -M Okoye Mecca, and I'm just a crypto enthusiast like most of you, and I'm a basic medical researcher. So um, in, this, in this talk, we'll be learning about solidity mostly, and it has a little bit of JavaScript, and then we'll be learning some library to interact, you know, we want to interact with it, um, we want to use JS to interact with the blockchain. So we'll be using this web3.js, but I prefer ether.js anyway, but um, you don't need to worry. So for a start, I would like us to, there is an important tool that is, um, there is a tool that is important. Anyway, I, I will not be giving you um, so many things. You know, um, last time when we did JavaScript, um, Ben really talked more about Web uh, Web three, he really you know how to set up your MetaMask account. I hope most of you did it, but if you don't have any idea on that, you can still um, ask questions and we try to help you. So we we assume you've already done that, and now you're just into you know you just want to start coding something on Web three. So like I said, we'll be doing solidity. So um. Um, for beginners, you know, before we go into um, crypto zombies, I, I want us to go into, you can try this out, okay? There is this IDE for coding solidity. It's called Remix, Remix, and you can get it at remix.ethereum.org. It's very good for beginners and even some most experts also use it for those that like it anyway. My system is, my internet is a bit slow, but 
if you can start it up, um, that would be nice. So I just started it up, okay? And then it presents your workspace to you, okay? So mostly everything in Solidity is, is a contract. So this is, this is a contract already created by this software. And the file is called storage.sol. So the file extension for Solidity files is um, .sol, okay? And um, so let's try to explore this. You, you, uh, you know this sentence striking that um, everything in Solidity is a contract, like I said, okay? So this, this is a contract called storage. So it encapsulates every other code, okay? So when, so we can either add another contract, like it's just like class in JS. So we can either add another contract here, okay? Or, or we, let's say I wanna make a contract about that, a diet for, um, So, or you can you can either put it here or you make another file, okay? You can make another file and um, let's say option. So I, I, I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. Like I'm trying to create another file because um, when you open the Solidity, um, I mean this remix, you may need to make your own file. Let's say one of all these option diary. Okay, so we ended with dot so, and that's an enter. So we've created a new, a new file called option diode dot so, and um, so that just pretty pretty um, what I want you to know. And then let's go back to the owner dot, sorry, the simple storage. Okay, storage. Okay, so um, first of all, in a smart contract. You, you don't really need this, but this is just to show that this is an, an off, um, I mean, an, an open source document, so anybody can use it. Mostly, I know more about the, the MIT. This is the most popular. So it's just trying to say you can use this code, you know. Um, Anytime we don't really care about it. So let me replace it with this. This is more popular. And um, okay, so before you start um, any, any other thing in Solidity, this is the most important. You have to state the compiler you are using. But Solidity is like a very developing language. So um, it develops very fast, like since every, probably every three months they release a different version. So you need to state the version you're using, okay? So this is trying to say, so you, you start with the keyword pragma solidity, and then you state the, the version you're using. So this is trying to say, and, and this, um, um, this is gonna use the version starting from greater than or equal to 0 0.7, okay? And less than 0. 90. So it excludes um, 0 0.9 and includes anything from 0 0.7 to 0 0.8, you know. So you, you, you can actually, let's say your, your compiler is, you can actually use different form. You can use this carrot and you say, I'm using a version that is everything in 0 0.08, okay? And um, so why, why is this very important? Like when you want to compile, for example, in this um, compiler, okay? Remember, um, this is not like JavaScript. So whatever you do here on Solidity, you first of all have to compile it. So when you compile your code, you know, compile it to, to, the, um, to the machine language, and then you can deploy if you want. So, so um, if, if you don't really state your compiler version, you may have problem here, okay? 
and trying to compile your code. And then the, the other thing you may need to know in, in Solidity, unlike um, JavaScript, you need to type, you know, the, is kind of, will I say strongly type or per se. So like in, in JavaScript, you can, you can just give a variable a name, right? Name or to, let's say, off chain, okay? But in Solidity, it's not so. You need to, you need to um, specify the type. Okay, so here it's trying to say that this is a on 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 signed integer two five six. Okay, so and a number. So on a signed integer means a number that is not negative. Okay, and it can take only two hundred and fifty six. So we have several on sixteen thirty two. Um. I think we have eight. I'm gonna check it out now. Eight. Very soon, you know why we, you know, when to use a very specific kind of uh, number. So the, so the catch here is that blockchain is, you know, writing to the blockchain is very expensive. So sometimes you just really need to state the kind of um, type you need so that you don't waste um, gas or so that you minimize gas fee. So what that is just fine anyway. So another takeaway is that um, whenever, hello, can, can you all hear me? Ben, are you there? Yes, okay. please, Am I can hear you. We are here. We're all here. We're all good. Okay. Come on, me. <laughs> I'm gonna answer, you're supposed to type. You can, you, you, you can just look at me, I think at, at least for this first part of it, okay? Um, usually we're not supposed to start here. We're supposed to start directly from crypto zombie, but you will need this so that when you wanna play around with the crypto zombie, what you've learned, you may need a solid compile. I mean, the Remix ID to, to do whatever you wanna do. And um, so another very important one is that Let's say we want to, we want a string, okay? A string called, let's say we wanna make, wanna write the member's name, of chain members. Members, okay? So um, I'm, I'm just trying to, Make it a little bit of distinction between JS and just the, the, the I mean, um, the most different is like strongly typed. So you have to write the type and then write the variable and then give it whatever um, number you want to give to it. So if we have an unsigned integer, that means we have an, a signed integer. So it goes by this and um, like two, five, six. So these are uh, mostly negative numbers. Mm, a very good, a very good start that I will recommend is solidity by example. We go quick to it. I'm, I'm typing. I'm timing myself so by the next fifteen minutes, we'll be jumping into crypto zombie. So let's just take a look at this code. So this is like hello world. Okay, you see, it started with a pragma. You need to start your compiler with. So you need to start your code with a compiler name and the keyword is pragma solidity. So this is trying to say caret 0 0.8.10. So it means everything from 0 0.8.10 to where server eight and to nine, okay, to 0 0.9. Or you can equally use you can equally use greater than equal to, you know, just to say that. So everything in solidity is a contract. So this contract is called hello world. Okay, this is a hello world contract. And just like JavaScript, you wrap it with a curly bracket. Okay. So you would now write your code inside the contract. Okay, this is just code. This is a very cool example. And so unlike JavaScript, when you want to, this is a, this is a variable, the, 
is, is grit, okay? Grit is equal to hello world. But you remember that this is um, solidity, so you have to type, you have to give the, the type name. Um, this variable is of the type string, okay? And then you have to show um, the visibility. The visibility means, is it going to be see, seen by everyone, okay? Is it going to be a private, like, can everybody call, you know, view, view this um, grid um, variable? Is it going to be private? Should it be called by an external contract or will it be called internally? Those will be clear, you know, when you start coding. So you don't really need to worry about it, okay? So we, first of all, give the type, okay? Very important. And then visibility and the name and you hit it up. So um, by default, I think if you remove this, it's gonna be private. If you don't put the public, you know, it's gonna be private. And um, a quick one, let's go. Okay, so this is just the same. He started with a pragma, okay? Trying to state the version of, this, of, of, of solidity he's using. And then everything is a contract in solidity, okay? I hope that is clear. Everything is a contract. So you can see on, on and this variable is called count. Okay, but first you have to state is it an unsigned integer? Is it in um, is it a string, you know? What and what's the type? So this type is that of the type unit that's on an unsigned integer. So by default, when you don't write to uh, when you don't write the what it is, it is it defaults to two five six. Okay, so this is equally equally you can write two five six on it, and very soon you know what when to use two five six eight and blah blah blah. So, and that also goes to a function. Okay, can you see this function? What's called you called a function. The name of this function is get. Okay. Here you have to include if it is going to be public or not. Or is it going to be a private, um, an, an internal function, an external function? Internal function means only your code can call this, you know, this function. External means another contract can call it. You know, this might be confusing, but when you start seeing the real code, it becomes very easy to understand. And then even, even down to what you want to what you want to display, like this function, okay? This contract is a counter. It has a state variable called count, okay? So what this function does is that it just returns count. Can you see this function get? What it does, it, it, it just returns what is what is here, okay? So this function is what public. It means anybody can call this function. Anybody can call it, okay? View. View means that this that this function does not change state. What do you mean by it? it doesn't change state? So everything everything you are calling everything outside of a function in Solidity, I say is is a state variable. Okay, everything here, um, just like um, let's say this is uh, I wish I can go to one of the contracts, um, but Another problem. Let's just use this. Um, this is a state variable. So whatever I put in here is a state variable. Let me go to solidity. Um, just to make it a bit clear. So we have 10 minutes before we leave. Okay, owner. I'm just trying to show you some other contracts. So you can use it. Started with pragma, contract owner, okay? And then address private owner. So you definitely know what, it, what this is all about. Address simply means that this type, um, this um, variable owner of type address. So this is gonna take only um, Ethereum address, okay? And this was made private, meaning you can call this. You can, I mean, you, you can view it, okay? It's kind of private. Um, because um, you can actually change it if you can, if if it is public, the owner can be changed. So some other person can take over this contract. And let's quickly look at this. Okay, um, look at this function. This function is 
change the owner. So this function can, can, be, can be called to change the owner. And then it takes in a parameter, okay? New owner. You can see you, you have to state what this new owner, the type it is. You have to state that if it is a string, you have to state if it's a M on unsigned integer, integer, blah, blah, blah. Those, that, those are just the basic. And when you get it, you see that everything is very easy. So is this function viable by everybody? Yes. I want everybody to see it. Okay, but there is a modifier here because if everybody sees the con contract, it means they can change the owner, right? So we come to this later. There is a modifier here that says, this modifier is trying to say, um, okay, that would be a good example to show you. Okay, this like the modifier is too, let's not get in there. But it's just trying to say nobody is going to call this contract except from the owner. So, okay, let's use this. This is a function, okay, get owner. So when you call this function, so this function, uh, who can tell me this, this is an external function, so it can be only called by another contract, okay? So what is this function doing? It's only viewing. Viewing means it's only looking at what is in the con um, contract. It's not changing state. What do we mean by it's not changing state? It's not changing the address. You know, these are the, this, this is the state variable, okay? And um, these other ones, per se. I mean, just, um, just to make it simple. So it then means that every, okay, so it just viewing states. So there, there's another one called pure. Pure can be that it is not even viewing the state of the, you know, it's not viewing state. It's just, let's say we just want to, Write a function that you know waves to the on uh, waves to the waves to our user. Let's say user user, and when this function is called, it returns um, let's say hello. I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna be go deep. Just just I just wanna be simple here, and um, so. If that is the case, okay, this is this is going to be called by an external person, external contract, okay? I just want you to see how it works. This function, okay, will be called by an external contract. It is pure, meaning it's not changing the state. One, it's not viewing. It's not even looking at what we have. It's just doing another stuff altogether. It's not looking at the state of our contract, okay? So we, say we, we put it pure. But you don't really need to worry when you compile, you know, the solidity and... Um, this remix is going to remind you of what to do and what not to do when you get it right. So returns, what is it returning? This is a string, right? Let's say returns string. It is not simple as this. I mean, there, there are um, a lot of errors in my code, but I just want to make it simple. So when you call a function, you state if it's gonna be public, blah, 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 pure or not. If it is gonna return something, you say returns and you have to put the type of what is returning, okay? Um, I think that is, that is way simple. Um, let me copy this out. This should be the last example here before we enter into zombie straight. So let's assume this is um this is state variable, okay? And um this is weight, okay? You can see we casted the type. I mean, sorry, the type is is a unit, unit two five six. This is a boolean, meaning true or false, okay? This is an address, meaning this this delegate is gonna be taking Ethereum addresses, okay? So um, default, um, the default is going to be private, okay? But can you see here, this, um, this guy specified the address. That's, um, the variable name is chair, chairperson, okay? And the type is an address, and it's going to be public. That's everybody's going to view what's happening. Okay, we will come to this later, and uh, mapping and some other types. So let's quickly jump into 
Quick to zoom in. Don't worry, um, you, you appreciate the little preamble we did when we go deeper. So, are you, are you with me? Still here. Okay. So, so let's see what CryptoZombie is all about. Um, actually, this is a very good tutorial that is going to make you become kind of like so many things you learn from here. You know, you may not know how useful it, it, it is until you start building other dApps. That's short form for decentralized decentralized app. So, what what is uh, CryptoZombie all about? Um, it's just a tutorial that is going to make you create some database of zombies. Okay, these zombies have and different head color, eye color, and they are all coded by the DNA. Okay, so what they do is that they map the first two, these two first two, first two digits maps to the head. Okay, the second two digits maps to the eye. Don't worry about it. So how do they get it? Um, they just, you know, whatever digits they are, they get the modules, add one to it, and then hit it up. So if it is between, if it is one, okay, it's gonna have this kind of head. If it is two, kind of, it's gonna have this kind of head gene, three, four, five, but, that is just by the way. Um, so lesson one is all about the basis. So let's go over to the next. Let's go over to the where it all starts. Am I a little bit faster? Sounding good to me. Guys, speak up if you got questions as we go along, though. Okay. Okay, so here we start. So this is just what we said, that um, everything in Solidity is like a contract. Okay. So here, I think now you have to, I don't know how you're going to do it. Um, yeah, open up your, open up Scripture Zombies and... Let's code along, you know. So are we, yeah, 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 follow, follow, follow along. Um, I don't, I don't know, Ben, what do you think? Hello, Ben. Hey, I'm still Benjamin. here, say again. Yeah, hey. what, what do you think? They listen or they follow along and we code together. Go ahead and put it together. No, I mean, uh, should the participants also start code or which do you think is going to be better? Should I they just listen? To, yeah, if you guys really want to listen on this one, you might need to go back and, and try it yourself. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to uh, do it yourself while watching, but um, try, try to follow along. This is going to be a bit more challenging than what we covered in the beginner class for sure. So I would watch this one for, for start and then try to repeat it later. So you've heard Ben's opinion. So just like we say, everything is your call. A <laughs> good, and good then luck. the version, the version you're going to use, you need to really state it and you use the keyboard program. This is very easy. And to be frank, solidity is very easy, you know. And pragma solidity. So what version are, are we using? Here they, they ask us to use version seven. Sorry, okay, yeah. So this this simply means that um, um, my code is gonna, okay, be within version 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, okay? Less than, oh, sorry. That's from 0 0.5, okay, all true, that, that's excluding 0 0.6, right? Um, so you can just copy it like that and paste. Remember your semicolon, okay? 
So um, if I were coding this, I will simply do this. I will simply do this. Um, so leave it to current 0 0.05. So, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, this simply means this includes everything within 0 0.5. Okay, uh, this is kind of a bit logical for those that are are not familiar with math. So, so this this line one and line two they are same, okay. But because the I uh, because this compiler is going to yell at me, let me just remove it. Um, but hope you got the gist. Okay, so now everything in Solidity is, is a contract. Here we want to make a contract called Zimb Zombie Factory, okay. So what do we do first? Contract, okay? We define a contract, we give it a name, zombie. Um, usually when you define a contract, it's not a rule, but um, kind of conventional. You, you may want to use capital letter, okay? Not the camel case of it. So use capital letters for the first word per se. And then you enclose it in a, just like JavaScript. So that's all, we've created a contract. That, I mean, there's nothing in this contract. So we've tools and uh, solidity. This is the version of um, our co the compiler we wanna use and our contract name is zombie factory, that's all. So let me say this. I don't know, Um. okay, sorry. I've edited a lot of stuff, so it's gonna yell at me. Um, but I don't, I don't have the time. You know, this, um, their stuff is not very perfect. So probably I need to put this down before it can try again. Okay, so it's still the same thing. So I may skip using the show answers. I hope you, you get what I mean. So I'll go to the next one. My internet is very slow. I'm not using my Wi-Fi, just my phone. Okay, so what, what next are we doing? So they give an example, okay? This example is a contract, a contract called example. And it has a state variable called my unsigned integer. And it's 100, okay? So that's all, that's what this contract has. So a contract can be, let's say if this were, were to be compound, you know? You're gonna be seeing, you know, um, state variables storing people's um, addresses and how much they have. So here you're gonna see what we just talked about: the unsigned integer. Okay, this unsigned integer basically positive um, numbers. Okay, so you can have unsigned integer and that 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 is two five six, meaning um. My mathematics, I think um, it takes number between uh, two raised to power 256. So from zero to 255. And then this takes number from zero to 16 to 15, sorry. And um, I mean, uh, I've said why this is, is because um, to store stuff on, on the blockchain is very costly. So you need to put in- These are bits. So to be clear, it's not 255 literal, it, it's- 256 bits so a, a bit is like in base two you could store something that you know goes from zero to two to the 256 power so now we we've created a contrast in factory so we just want to we want to put in a state variable okay and is Let's see units. So I can write 256 bits, okay? 256 DNA digits. So basically you follow the camel order, camel case order, okay? 
not a must and then can make it equal to just like here. So usually they give an example and you can follow it. What's the 16? So semicolon. So actually I can remove this or I can put it back. So the default, if you don't and specify what bit it is, then it's going to the 40 to 256. So we've created a smart contract and in this smart contract, a smart contract called zombie factory, okay? That's a state variable called um, DNA digits. And here we've initialized it to 16. So uh, have to use this. Okay, so just like um, JavaScript, you know, because most of uh, most of what is in in Solidity was was borrowed kind of from JavaScript and a little bit of C plus plus. So you can actually add numbers. Okay, you can add numbers by using just a plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign. You can divide numbers by using the division sign. So when you want to find the remainder of a number, you can use this percentage. So this simply means 13 percentage five or modulus five means um, the remainder when you divide this number is three, okay? So basically like JavaScript, okay? So um, when you're here, I'm here now, when you want to do kind of five raised to the power two, so you can use these two asterisks to denote it. So very easy. Um, but I want to point to you that first of all, they, they stated the type. So this is a variable X of type um, unassigned integer as unit 256, okay? 256 because it doesn't, it's going to default to 256 since you didn't specify the bit. And so when you, this function is going to, you know, be equal to 25. And here they give us, an assignment. We've defined the DNA digit. So um, when you remember in the DNA that we're going to use for, I mean, to map our zombies, okay, they have 16 digits, okay. Here we've had coded the number of digits we want for the DNA. It is going to be 16 digits, okay. Now, they want you to do some little logic, okay, and the logic is here. They say create a unit name DNA modules and set it equal to 10 to the power of DNA digits. Yeah, I don't know if I quite understand them there. Name the word DNA modules. Okay, set it to the power of, huh? set it equal to 10. Sorry, I don't quite understand what they said. 10 raised to the power. Okay. So what do we use here? We use the double asterisk and then DNA digits. So later you, you, you're gonna know why they they want to use this. Um actually what they want to do here is that to make sure that our DNA zombies only 16 characters, let's make another unit, okay? equal to 10 raised to the power 16. And so this is gonna make sure that whatever number that is generated is within 16. So I'm gonna be fast here. This is very easy. I think it's just for you to know the, the mathematical operation, which is similar to what we've known in JavaScript. So this is like the, like the basics. You may not really know where they are going to until we finish this. Um, first lesson, then and they, they start to apply it and you appreciate what they've done. So like um, all of all we've done since we've been putting in numbers, strings, and let's say zombie name. Let me give you a string zombie name. Okay. 
Let's go this. Okay, zoom in. Okay, semicolon. Okay, what, um, what about if you want a complex data type? Okay, because this data type is string, okay? The, the variable is zoom. So what of, um, if you want a data type that has both, you know, number and name, you know, just like an object, you can use the, you can use a type called struct. Okay, what does it do? It's used to make complex data type. And so just basically you call, you know, just like you do every other thing, you say, I'm, and I'm making a data type called Stroid now, okay? You, you, you name the name of the Stroid, let's say Zombies, okay? Zombie uh, names. Uh, zombie ID, let me use ID, okay? ID, and then, very easy. So in this Stroid, I, I want to have their name and and I want to have their number, let's say their ID number. ID number. So you remember this is um, solidity. Something is missing here. What is missing? I have to specify that this is a string, okay? And this is the number. What number is it negative or positive? If it is positive, you use the unassigned integer and you have to know the, you know, the range of, um, and data is going to contain, and you have to state if it is going to be a 16 bit number or 32 or 256. Okay. So if you decide to leave it out, it defaults to 256. So remember the semicolon that ends everything. So this is a story. This I've created a story called Zombie ID. The Zombie ID takes in name and and the unit number, that's for the ID. So this is just by the way, this is not what they asked us to do. Yeah. Let's see what they want. So yeah, they, what they actually want us to do is to create a story. So they, they actually want to know, the, they want to put down the names of the zombies, okay? And they also want to put down what, I mean, their DNA, so. Destroyed, we should call it zombie. Zombie. So this is like a let me read this is like a data type. Um I mean this type is um destroyed and it houses the names of zombies and their DNA. Okay. So name of the zombie is gonna be a string. Okay, so you put in a string name and then the DNA is going to be a 256-bit number. So can do this 256, so delete it out. It's going to default to that, and then give it the name DNA. Is there any question so far? OK, Ben is handling that. OK. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's, that's that. And so now we've created a con contract and it has some state variables, okay? DNA, digits, modulus, and a destroyed zombie. So let's move on to, so um, this is gonna, and this destroyed is gonna be given, you know, putting down the name and the DNA. Give give a zombie name and then the the DNA it has number six. So um, in lesson two, we'll be seeing the apply application of all these things we we learned. So this is like the basics. When you get the basics, is kind of it will be a free run for you. So, okay, let's say we want to get these zombies, okay? We've made it, you know, we need to list it out. We need to make an array of zombies, okay? So that, you know, let's say we created 10 zombies. We need to 
and make an array where the first zombie is zombie one, zombie two, zombie three, like kind of an array. Um, uh, more or less what is in, in JS and JavaScript. So how do we make it? Okay, there are two ways. An array can be fixed or Dynamic. Yeah, I think we may have lost. Did you disconnect? No, 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 I'm here. Okay. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. We may oh, have lost okay. My internet is, yeah, my internet went. So an array can be fixed or an array, I think it was Julia said correctly, it can be dynamic. Okay, yeah. So, Fix dynamic. So dynamic, you know, just like uh, usually in JavaScript, okay, it, we just say everything there is dynamic. But here, it is. You can fix it that this is this array is just gonna have, um, have only two. I mean, the length is gonna be two, so we can do it that way, okay. But when you make a, an array, okay, without putting anything, it becomes dynamic. Okay, let's quickly see this. So um, this is like, this is very interesting. Okay, let's get it. Okay, first of all, we have to state the type, right? So we say this is a unit, okay? With an array having only length of two, okay? And the variable name is fixed array. So even if you have a straw, let's, let's say we want to, these zombies, okay, we need to put them in, in, into array. So what do you do first? First of all, say the data type. Say so this is straight zombie. Okay. Remember in Solidity, you 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 have to first of all state the uh, the type of the variable. So what we want to make is a straight of um, I mean an array of zombie. That's an array of straight. Okay. So we put this straight. Okay. And then we. So if I leave it like this, it becomes a dynamic array, right? Let's say I want to make an array of zombies. Okay. So an array of zombies. This is just a simple explanation. Let's um yeah. So if it is if it's like you want to make an array array of numbers, you can just put it like this. Array of numbers called um, let's say random. So then that's what they want us to do here. So now they've made a complex type called Stroid, okay? But you know, they really have to put it in into array. So yeah, they asked us to do it. So they say create a public array of numbers, sorry, of zombie Stroids and name is zombie. So um, first of all, what do you do? State the, um, the type, the type is, um, the straight zombie. So you write it. This is an array of straight zombie. Okay, you put zombie array. Okay. First, you ask yourself, is it going to be a dynamic array? Yes, it's going to be dynamic. So you don't need to put in the number. If it is going to be fixed, is this going to be six, seven? If it's going to be six, you put in the number. Okay. And that's that. And then you write the name of the array. So now they said, oh, as if I knew what they were writing. Okay, zombies. So now, now we're having a dynamic array, okay? Of, of a dy dynamic array of zombies. I mean, so here we have to declare the visibility. Is it public, private? Can everybody see this? Yes. So let me type this again so that it will be clearer. We're making an array of strides. Soon be okay, it's gonna be dynamic. Everybody's gonna say it. What's the variable name? Soon be as well. So we've created another state variable called zombies. And zombies is I don't know. Hello. Okay, I would have wish somebody say what, what it is. Um, actually, this is very important. Like it's very confusing at first, but when you when you know that 
let's say you want to create, I mean, let's say an array of numbers. Okay, so you know now you want to create an array of straight. You just put in the name of the straight you've created, the complex variable you created. I think that is that is easy enough. Okay, so let's move on. So now this this whole system already it has this state variable. DNA, DNA modulus, and a straight of uh, zoom this. And then we've created an array. So we want to pack it and so that we can index it. So let's say we want to see what, what is the name of zoom P1. We index, index it with zero and then call, call it out just like JS. I'm sorry, I'm not using the proper terminologies for, for most of these things. So seven, seven. I don't know if there is any question so far. We have less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just make it yeah. clear again. I mean, if this is what you understand, I think that is, that is, I mean, I think we've we've even gotten everything you need to know to finish up this lesson. So let's say this is this is a state variable, okay? So first of all, you state the type. This is a unit, two two hundred and fifty six. When you don't put in and the number of bits it is, it defaults to two hundred and fifty six, okay? Then you have to state if it is if it is going to be a private, if it's going to be the visibility is going to be private, okay? Public and and the rest we are going to say it. So here, nothing is written. So this is is going to be private. Um, nobody can see this. I mean, not. I mean, you can call this. You can say it. So it defaults to private. But these zombies, you can say this zombie. I actually wanted somebody to you know finish it up. So I would have loved to hear what others are saying. Hello. I don't want to interrupt, but. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to hear, you know, the audience like, so that I know if they can really state what it is and the visibility. I think this is just, this is just it. Okay, so let's write this function. All this while we've not written a function. So let's write a function. And let's take this example. It is a function called eat hamburgers. And this function is going to take a string, okay? And it's going to take a, an unsigned integer. And it's going to be public. That means anybody can call this function. Let me copy it out. I actually like how they structured the this tutorial. I mean, this very few introduction is really going to kick you off going. So this is a function, okay, called hamburger, okay? So what is it going to take in? It's going to take in name and amount, this parameter. But you really need to state the type. So this is type string, and this is type unsigned integer. And then for string, string are kind of um, tricky in, in solidity, but you don't need to worry um, because you really have to study if it's going to be stored on memory or on storage. Memory means, you know, the blockchain doesn't need to store it. It just does the calculation and throw the figure away, okay? And, and storage means it is going to store it, you know, it's going to still hold it. So, I mean, I guess this is just a function. You don't really need the, you, you just need um, the function to be called and give you the result it has called or whatever the function wants to do. Okay, so let's quickly go to what they want us to do. So now they want us to create the first, our first function. And I think if we create that, that would be good. That would be it. So we, this example says, we are going to need to be able to create some zombies. Okay, let's create a function for that. You know, you may not really know why they are doing this, okay? But don't, don't worry, when you get to lesson two, it's gonna be clearer, you know? 
just uh, just get the basis first and every other thing falls in place. And then we'll be using the proper terms, you know, to... Okay, now they said create a public function named create zoom B. It should have two parameters. Okay, a name and a DNA. Don't forget to pass the first argument by value. So let me clean it off. Mm, please, can you can you can you unmute? Uh, we want someone. Hello. Hey. Anybody? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to hear you guys. We are Tell here. Me what we are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. So I want about the functional word. So I, I really want to type in this, okay? I want you to help me to type it in. So what do I type, please? Just, I want to hear your contribution. We want to create function. a function, okay? This function, function is create okay, zombie. function. Function, okay. Zombie. Zombie. Create zombie. Create zombie. So this function Can you get the bracket? Okay. Okay, so, and we, and we put in the parameters, right? The parameters, right? Very good. So the parameter, what? Name. Name. Very good. String. String. What again? String first. G e and A. String first. Somebody said string, yes. Because for everything you put in, 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 in I mean, for every variable, the type you, need, you need to state the type, okay? So we need to say, yeah. what is underscore name? What D is it? A. Is he a string or what? So it's string. a string, right? String. Very good. Yes. So but for um, string are very special. In, in oh. solidity, so we need to study if it is in memory or not. Memory, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. So, best, so after this the name, this, comma, yes, this function, yeah, this function is taking in two parameters, right? So we use a comma, right? Yeah. Very good. What yes. else? You in? Uh, DNA. Uh, DNA. You need. You in. You in. DNA. Okay, but we need to state what type. What type is it? See, you need to. Is it? Unsilent. Yeah, what yeah. byte is it? Is this 16, 24? What is it? 256. Okay. So if you don't put in the byte, you, it, it defaults to 256. Okay. Okay. So what else? You need to. You uh, return. Public view returns. No, 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 they didn't tell you to put in. Oh. They said, create a public function. So what do we do next? Let's look at here so that you see what we do next. That's my look. Public. Yeah. Oh, public, all right. Public. So um, it, it just exactly like you put in others. Remember, this is this is like an array, right? Mm. Array of zombies, of destroyed zombies, okay? After mm. writing it, this is like you're, you're saying this is the type. You're writing in the type. The next thing you do, you write the visibility. Is it going to be public, private, and later we talk about others, OK? So now we wrote a function. OK, this is a function, create zombie. We put in the parameters, and we try to see if it is going to be public or not, OK? And then yes. that's that. Return. Return. Um, we return? Yeah, no. we, they didn't really state um, if we're going to return or not. But assuming we're going to return something, so you write returns. Remember the S. Sorry. Returns. Then what is it going to return? We're going to return this. I don't know. But that's not what they asked us to do. OK. Yeah. I think with this, you're really good to go. You, you, I mean, it may look very simple, but if you can get that, whatever you, you do here, you put it in data type, stating the visibility, that's all. Whether it is a function or not, and you know, even though you're putting the parameters of a function, remember to state the, the type. Um, it's already eight. And so, yep. why don't we, we have, give a Break here, but I, I, I'm hopeful that you guys can all try this again at home, and 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 maybe I'll even add, try to take some time and repeat some of it in Remix because while Crypto Zombies is pretty cool, cool, and you know you you don't have to use Remix, as soon as you start to to explore what we showed in the beginning, it is a little bit confusing, it is a little hard, but that's gonna uh, probably get you closer to actually being real world. 
Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I encourage everybody to, you know, use remix like Ben have said, okay? It's gonna equally help you with the errors, you know, so, um, so that so that you're gonna learn fast. And then, um, just like this is the introduction, we, we expect a lot of, you know, this is just like, um, so many persons have not used a strictly type language. So we, it's not actually strictly anyway. So we'll be expecting questions in the Discord group. I don't know, um, Ben, can you please post to the Discord group? Yep, I'll share again in the WeChat group what the Discord group is, but let's try to encourage everybody, if you got questions, which you should, this is not easy, ask them in the Discord group. Um, that way we can get everybody uh, globally to be contributing over there. So no question is too simple or too small, okay? Because this is the first, and this is the start. If you get it now, you see that solidity is um, very easy, actually. Very, very easy. So That's with that, I hand it over to Ben. Great, guys. Okay, so I appreciate everybody's time. And, and thanks again uh, for teaching here, Okoya. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Okoya. Okay, thank, thank you. you.